Uh, I think people may have guessed from the accent that you're originally from South Africa. Mm -hmm. In that case, does race trump ideology? I've been around long enough to know that race really doesn't exist. Um, Explain. Certainly not in, uh, not in my experience. Um, my, my background in South Africa was trying to look at, we basically had a civil war in South Africa in 1990, and we found that people were dying and killing out of righteous indignation for labels. And we looked, we attempted to go beyond the labels. When we went beyond the labels, for example, we asked people, we had to go back to, right back to the beginning. And we had to say to people, you call yourself a socialist. What do you mean by socialism? And by the way, the vast majority of South Africans who called themselves socialists said they were socialists because socialism was being sociable. It was socializing <laughs> with people from all backgrounds. And people who said that they were, um, were capitalists said they were capitalists because they believed in freedom and opportunity. And of course, people on the other side would say, capitalism is anything but freedom. Capitalism is apartheid. So what we did is we, 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 um, we managed to find vocabulary that was not divisive. And we managed to tell stories. You were talking about a narrative. We managed to tell stories that allowed people to see that they were not different. So some of the stories that were told, is for many black people, we, the stories were told. It was at the time that um, Spencer Wells was, was presenting his research on the Human Genome Project. And I personally did dozens of presentations to black communities telling the story of the Human Genome Project to say 60,000 years ago, a small group of Africans moved north up the Great Rift Valley and over generations adapted to the climate. Africans became lighter skinned. Africans' noses grew a little longer to, to, to deal with the cold. Lips <coughs> became a little thinner to deal with the cold. And these communities would say, people in the communities would say, so actually these are Africans adapted to climate. And people bought it. Who eventually, it's the truth. But people bought it. People but bought it, but what it did is it said, we are not different. Well, let me take We you. are Africans, we are, and, and Canadians, you know, when I became a Canadian, and, and many Canadians wouldn't know this, but when I became a Canadian, there were people from 27 different countries in the room. And the judge said, what is a Canadian accent? And we all looked at each other, I don't know. And he said, yours. This is a Canadian accent. You are Canadians. All of you are Canadians. 